Hey you guys, it's Anne Marie and the sun and the trees. So I just got done posting a pretty cool video. I think so, but you know, I'm a little biased. <laughs> and I um if you can see it, sprinkled some of my mom. <laughs> Always note to self, be very mindful when you sprinkle ashes of people when it's windy out. You might get some in your mouth. And I was led to, I kept seeing these, I love this bark. And so I put my mom's ashes on there and I used the bark to write beautiful messages. Harmony, joy, compassion, can't see that one as well. Happiness, peace. Acceptance, <laughs> forgiveness, and of course, love. And I'm placing all of these beautiful words and incantations, whatever you want to call them, around, excuse me, her ashes. And I just realized something. Oh, look at the sun going right there. My mom. I used to speak a little bit of my mom in different locations I go to. Because I know that's what she would want. And I just realized. <laughs> I'm going to cry. That the last time. I drummed with her. Was in this very place. It's, uh, well, I'm healing wounds that nobody else in my family want to take a look at. The addictions, the molesting, the abuse, the narcissism, I refuse. I refuse and will not allow it anymore I thought that if I didn't have kids that meant it was breaking cycles I thought that if it meant that I got sober that meant it broke cycles <laughs> that's no that's that's in my opinion surface level not doing something doesn't break a cycle I mean this is just my opinion it goes a lot deeper for me it went a lot deeper than that it was the financial scarcity mindset the lack mindset the fear mongling mindset, the shh, don't talk about it, didn't happen in our family mindset. I'm the generational curse breaker in my family. That's why they're mad. <laughs> All those years in the church and praying didn't do it for them. It takes real work to do, to be the one in your family to break these cycles. And I'm grateful that I have removed myself from them, all of them. And it was funny because I thought I unfollowed somebody in my family until I saw one of their posts on another social media app. And I was like, wait a minute, I thought I stopped on, I thought I unfollowed them. And then I did. Um, because the picture they showed was them, um, them, the all wicked witches, <laughs> in the negative sense. We're sprinkling my mom's ashes down in Florida. Where my mom used to live. My mom loved Florida. She loved. She lived. There's an all-lesbian community called Carefree Village. Called the compound. That I would go and visit all the time. And I noticed when I saw that the video. I started to have a lot of anger and resentment pop up. Because I'm like. Except the person who posted the video. When I was looking at my other siblings in the video. I'm like. These people talk so foul about my mother. Horrible things. And even judged me for my relationship with her, which it was very codependent. <laughs> um, but I also understand now narcissism. And I understand how the scapegoat in the family is always, you know, I, I understand the triangulation. And, but I don't even care about that shit anymore. Like, I, I, could, I could care less what my family thinks about me. Because I know I'm speaking the truth. They don't want me to talk about what they did to me as a child. What they witnessed 
and that's okay because I'm not walking this walk for them. I'm doing it for me and my ancestors. I was the one chosen in my family to do this because they, my, the ancestors knew that I would be the one to take it seriously, that I wouldn't have to steal money and falsify documents and spread the narrative that I was crazy and I couldn't make my own decisions and that I was this crazed drug addict that couldn't be found even though we had conversations and everyone's been in contact with me before I completely went no contact. And that's okay. This walk is a one hell of a ride, but I love it. I've never in my life ever felt so fucking happy and so free. And none of it, not one single part of my happiness and joy and freedom is attached to anything material. On the outside, <laughs> it's like, this chick's living in her in in somebody's basement, you know, and driving an old ass, you know, car. And and though I have an amazing job that pays me fairly well, um, that I have a lot of freedom to travel and move around and to be my spiritual self and show up as a spiritual being in my job. And they're open to it. And I have amazing, an amazing tribe of people around me professionally now and they're my friends and I love it and I know the more I walk this walk and speak my truth and heal and grow that more of my soul tribe is coming that we're going to be off of the social media apps and in-person meeting and hi Mr. Ant you're a big guy hi look he's a big guy hey buddy <laughs> and until that time comes, I'm, I'm grateful for the position I'm in, the location I'm in. Hi, big ass dragonfly. And so for the, those cycle breakers, those scapegoats in your family, good job. It's not easy. It's heartbreaking at times. Don't believe the false narratives of what you see online either. If you think everyone's just moving along without you, it's okay. You're better off without them. Have you noticed how much happier you are? When you really think about it, you're out of the drama, you're out of the backbiting, you're out of not having to say nothing about all the addicts in your family, all the abuse and narcissism and just stuff that just doesn't resonate anymore with you. You are an amazing, amazing being. Even if you don't feel like you are. So when I say you are divine into being source of light energy, even if you're not even really on a spiritual path and you cross watch and you watch my videos, I still believe that about you. What are you going to do with it? I'm so grateful. So grateful. Thank you. To all of you who have outwardly supported me thank you to all those who we've connected and we've interacted to my other creators I love you you're doing it too thank you to the people with the amazing messages that helped me get clarity and get confirmations thank you to the supporters of on my YouTube channel my subscribers I truly honor and respect all of you and your journeys. All of our journeys are pretty similar. Our paths, what we've had to endure, what we're overcoming, what we've survived. I don't know anybody that has survived even one part of my story. It's amazing. Um, so I can speak about it, how I survived it to help the next I hope you're healthy and happy. I truly do. May you love and be loved. May you be full of joy. May you heal. Have a great day.